Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. In this video, we are going to see the full review of this Digitech 3 axis gimbal tripod only for smartphones. If in case you want it for DSLR camera, this gimbal is not useful for that. Also, you can use this gimbal for GoPro also. This video, I'm sharing the complete pin to pin details of this gimbal after using it for some weeks of time. And in between this time, I used this gimbal in my indoor conditions as well as in outdoor. Followed by recently, I visited one place there also i tested this gimbal i'll share entire things about this gimbal in this video if you are a serious buyer of this gimbal then you definitely watch this video till the end so that you have a better idea whether you can buy this gimbal for this price range or not let's get started first i start with the cost i mean the price this gimbal cost me six thousand rupees and during the offers time you will get it even for low price at 6000 rupees this is the one of the best gimbal and also digitech is a promising brand if you add 500 or 1000 rupees to your budget or 5000 6000 or 7000 you are having some different branded gimbals according to me digitech is a well established brand and many people know the digitech lights and things like that so that's why i'm telling digitech is a promising brand i mean to the connection process this is not an automatic calibrated device which means that you need to calibrate by your own of course this gimbal connect to the app via bluetooth but if you want to place your mobile on the top like here in the gimbal it is a manual adjustment it is not a automatic if you use it for long periods of time like connecting the device disconnecting again connecting and disconnecting then you probably like a master when connecting your mobile to this gimbal right after the unboxing you feel little confused to avoid that confusion i already posted a complete video about the connection as well as the setup of the app in your mobile if you want the link is in description box or else in the cards you can find that video and the calibration in this gimbal is different from mobile to mobile because the weight of the mobile changes even the size distribution of the mobile changes because it's manual adjustment if in case it is an automatic it only adjusted by its own i previously reviewed the dj om for sc gimbal which is a automatic calibrated gimbal why i'm stressing out the calibration means calibration is must for the gimbal to work properly to your mobile with the right calibration only you can get the stabilized video when it comes to the inbox content in the box you will get a carrying bag which is a pretty nice thing i didn't see in any of the gimbals which comes with bag in this price range followed by gimbal then you are having a tripod mount small tripod mount where you can actually place the gimbal on any flat surfaces you will also get a strap to carry the bag and finally some instruction manuals and setup guide when it comes to the buttons and reliability first when it comes to the buttons on the front we are having three buttons one is power on or off button followed by mode button and finally a joystick button where you can actually tilt or pan your mobile with the help of this on this side you are having a zoom in and zoom out button on the back you are having a click button which is useful to shoot the photos or you can record or stop the videos also these buttons are actually reliable these are not gimmick buttons guys the buttons are working fine and they are reliable and each button is having its own function now when it comes to the stabilization test this is the main because we use the gimbal for to stabilize the video even though our mobiles are having the stabilization inbuilt but it is lacking that's why we use the gimbals even for dslrs also we use the gimbals but those are costliest ones and when it comes to the mobiles we're having cheaper versions like this here are the sample videos for your reference with and without gimbal shooting the video in outdoor conditions
I observed that the stabilization is really good in this gimbal. Right now, we discussed some of the good points of this gimbal. No matter what, which product in the universe, I believe that each and every one is having its own pros and cons. Like that, this gimbal is also having some cons like the problems I noticed. Let's discuss one by one. First thing I noticed the issue is the connection process. Also, the calibration is also not reliable. You need to adjust manually in the app and you can change the degrees of the rotation because even though you made it perfectly but if you place this gimbal on flat surfaces and check the horizon level you can observe some tilt is there with the help of this setting you can minimize that tilt issue next is the buttons the buttons are reliable each button is having its own function but during some time when I press the back set button for to click the photos or to record or stop the videos, this button is not actually working properly. Sometimes it stopped recording and when I press again, it didn't stop the video. On that time, I need to press the stop in my mobile. As I told earlier, there are some calibration issues are also there in this gimbal. Also, this is the biggest thing I noticed in this gimbal is I can actually shoot in landscape mode like mobile blazing in this way. Like in this position, I can actually shoot the video. If in case I want to shoot the videos in portrait mode like you are watching the reels right in that type of video mode I cannot shoot in this one because the calibration is not at all supporting I don't know why what's the problem with this gimbal right now I can actually shoot only landscape videos that is the main reason why I showed the sample videos also in landscape mode and next thing is you cannot shoot the 4k or 1080p 60 fps video in this gimbal even though your mobile supports it I don't know why this restriction available in this gimbal come to the extra things I noticed in this one is this gimbal is very light in weight guys and I can easily carry this gimbal anywhere I like even I'm having this case also so that I can actually carry this gimbal placing in my bag next thing is this gimbal is supported for micro usb charging if in case you wanted the type c charging no guys this one only supported for micro usb in the specifications they mentioned that this gimbal is not only useful for smartphones but also for gopros also but according to me gopros doesn't need any stabilizer because the stabilization is really good in the gopros during the emergency time even you can charge your mobile with the help of type a slot which is available to the left side of the gimbal so finally whether i recommend this gimbal to buy it or not in this price range maybe during the offers time the price will cut off maybe 500 or 1000 if you apply the credit or debit cards you will get it for even low price i'm going to sharing some points if these points are okay for you then you can choose the gimbal if not you skip this gimbal choose this gimbal if you are okay with the manual calibration i mean setting up your mobile manually second thing is micro usb cable for charging third thing is decent stabilization fourth point is you don't need any 1080p 60 fps or 4k 60 fps video recording and finally number five is if your budget is under 6000 rupees so these are the five points if you are okay with these five points you definitely buy this gimbal or if you have capability to increase your budget some 2000 or 3000 then definitely here is the video for you guys this is the dji om4 ac gimbal which is one of my favorite gimbal i have ever used till now this gimbal cost me 10,000 rupees on the time of unboxing and posting this review video. Now during the offer send you will get it for even low price. This is one of the best gimbal. This gimbal comes with automatic stabilization followed by type C charging slot and DJI is also a promising brand. I'm sharing the related videos of the DJI. If you want feel free to check the video. If you want to buy this gimbal from Amazon the link is in description box guys. Feel free to check the link. If you buy through the link so that I get some commission and I can post more review type videos like this. Just a small help I'm asking from you. That's the video. See you again in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.